Welcome to the Online Zone right here in Card Player TV. I'm your host, Julio Rodriguez, and today we are joined by recent Sunday Million winner, Eric, Ace Quad Bricks. How you doing, Eric? Good. Now, Eric, it's everyone's dream to win the Sunday Million. Um, you know, it's the biggest tournament of the week, huge prize pool. How did it feel when, when you realized you, you finally had taken it down? Um, to be honest, it was, it was unreal. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, I've dreamt of it before, and I've been deep in the Sunday Million before and uh, took a few bad beats and got knocked out, you know, deep. But, uh, I don't know, this time everything went my way, and I was on top of my game. So, I don't know. It took it took like at least uh, a day or two for it to settle in and to actually understand like how big of a, a tournament and how big of a field it is to win. And yeah, it was amazing. I can imagine. Um, now, for those who don't know, you are a Supernova Elite member. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? And you know, I mean, just give these guys an idea of what it takes to achieve that status. Uh, I'm not a Supernova Elite. <laughs> a supernova uh player. Just a supernova. Yeah. Um but uh yeah that I don't know, I uh I found it pretty easy to achieve uh at the beginning and uh I don't know, it uh it helps out with a lot of perks, that's for sure. Um the FPPs are pretty nice and uh you know, I've been able to just buy a bunch of stuff with it. Now, is your normal like what's your normal uh, game? Are you, you more into cash games? <clears throat> yeah, in the past, uh, in the past, I was playing a lot of cash games, and I played a lot of Stud High Low and Oma Eight uh, Limit games, and that was more my specialty. Um, about like three years ago was when I started playing all the mixed games, and uh, and then I just made a transfer over to tournaments and. Uh, and like the big multis, probably about like eight months ago, and uh, it's been pretty good. So I want, to, I want to talk about that. It seemed I was checking out your uh, your OPOY qualifying caches. You cashed for just over six figures last year, starting in about October, and uh, you you've obviously started off this year fantastic. You win mm -hmm. the Sunday million, and then you follow that up with a second in a hundred dollar rebuy. And because of that, you're actually fourth in the card player online player of the year rankings. Um, is is that something you're going to pursue, or do you see yourself getting back into cash games more, um, or is it just up in the air? Yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to be pursuing the uh, online player of the year. Of the year. Um, I actually just went out yesterday and bought a new computer, so that on Sundays I'll be able to handle a little bit more volume. Um, I think that will help me out in, in getting, you know, more points and more caches and hopefully another big score. Awesome. Well, let's talk about the Sunday Million in particular. Um, yeah. You went into the final table with the chip lead, and it's no surprise that you had two other chip leaders uh, and you finished 1-2-3 in the tournament. And those are mm -hmm. some pretty tough players in Eurobond and Jonathan uh, Ween. I've got Toe Jam. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to talk about a particular hand that happened uh, after the deal four-handed. You were three-handed and you raised queens on the button, and uh, Ween decided to uh, re-raise from the small blind. Obviously, you shoved. And uh, are you surprised that he called off? Uh, you know, seventy-five percent of his stack there. With yeah, hand? Ex extremely. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe that he called. Uh, I don't know what he thought he was beating. I, I mean, we were. I guess we were short-handed, but. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I couldn't believe that he called me there. See, I'm wondering and, what kind of image you set up for yourself in order to get paid off in that spot. Um, I would actually, I would actually just say that since we already chopped, that uh, a few of my opponents it just seemed like they were content with what they already won, and they decided not to play for the extra thirty thousand. I mean, that would be my opinion. To what I saw with their play, but um, hey, it, yeah, you know, if, if it makes it easier for you to get it, all the better. Yeah. So that hand really uh, propelled you, you know, to a semi-even stack with Eurobond. Um, mm -hmm. 
you had that big hand where you called with second pair. You called him down two streets with second pair. Uh, it really took the wind out of his sails, and and all of a sudden you're the Sunday Million winner, and you and you uh, you take home just under 180 grand. Um, is that life changing money? I mean, are you gonna go out and buy yourself a, a nice new sports car? <laughs> um, I yeah, I've been thinking about getting a home actually. Uh, uh, that's probably my next step, but then I also have to think about the World Series and my bankroll management versus, like, you know, what what type of home I can afford or whatever to continue playing what I play now. How's the housing market out there in uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota? <laughs> uh, the market in Minnesota is pretty bad. Uh, there's a lot of... As it is elsewhere, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know, hopefully I can... Uh, get myself into a decent sized house and make it out to the World Series this year. Well, um, Eric, I'd, I'd like to thank you for being on our show, and I look forward to seeing you out on the live tour and especially at the World Series. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching the Online Zone right here on Card Player TV.